Hi, I'm Thelma, and my channel is Seasonal Crafts and Creations. Welcome back to my channel, and welcome if you're new. If you're new and you haven't already, I hope you consider, after watching this DIY, clicking that like button and subscribing to my channel and clicking the notification bell right next to it. That way you won't miss any of my future uploads. And I'd really love to have you as part of my family here on YouTube. Okay, today I have um, a few DIYs for you all with a lot of the merchandise coming from the Dollar Tree. So without further ado, let's go ahead and get started. I'm going to turn the camera down so you can see. And you will need a picture frame and a with a big um, this is at least a 15 by 20 and I already had this from a Valentine's Day and you will need some type of window clean from the Dollar Tree or you can also get them from any other store and what we're doing is putting this on Let me get it started here. There we go. And now at the Dollar Tree, they have several window cleans to choose from. They, um, they even have a truck one. Now I'm putting this on this way. That, that way you can see it real good from the front, from the other side of the glass this is going to be on the inside and I'm just putting it on backwards and the same with all of them just put them on backwards that way it'll show the right way flipped around And you can arrange these and do them in any order that you like. When I get this finished, I'll show you. I bought, I believe, two other window cleans. And I, I can show them to you. That way, it'll give you another option that you uh, can choose from. But when I seen this bunny, oh, I love it with the little um, flowers going around her head. She's just beautiful. Some of these window clings are a bit tricky to get out. But just keep going around until you find a spot. I like that one. It's egg with flowers. I'm going to go ahead and put all these on and then I'll show you what it looks like. Okay, this is what it looks like. Now we need to put the back on. Make sure you have the, um, the white part showing. And be careful picking up the glass. Okay, now let me find my tape. You can use this tape or you can use um, the other tape. The, I think, I think it's silver or any kind of tape. 
or if yours doesn't need it and it's got those little prongs, you can use that. But go ahead and put at least two, uh, going over it twice to make sure it stays. Sorry about that noise that the tape makes, but there's not much I can do about that. Um, let me know what window clings you've decided to use. If you're, you can also use uh, eight by tens or five by sevens by just putting one window cling in, and um, it looks real nice like that. I'll get right back with you after I have this all taped up. This is what it looks like with the picture frame going this way. You can also do it um, the other way, but the way my hanger is on the back, I had to do it going the long ways. But um, let me lay this off to the side, and I want to show you two other window cleans. I picked up from the Dollar Tree. They have this one with Happy Easter and all kinds of, with two bunnies and all kinds of eggs. And some of them have flowers on it. Real beautiful. And then they have the truck. Little, it's like a bluish green. Like more like a teal color with a little bunny uh, jumping in the back of the truck with the eggs. It shows a little duckling. Well, let's see, it has one, two, three little chicks and one coming out of an egg. And look at all the flowers. And it says happy and then uh, in big words, Easter right here. But I thought I'd show you them. That way you know um, at least two more that they carry at the Dollar Tree. Okay, our next project, I have um, one of these, I believe it's a 15 by 20 canvas, and you can get one that's smaller if you want. And I know I just showed you this, and I'm gonna be using this window plane, and you're gonna need some Mod Podge. I got this from uh, the Dollar Tree too. Now this canvas came two for five dollars at five below. Okay, let's go ahead and loosen up the window cleans. Let's just go ahead and Pull them all off and get them ready. And I'll be right back after I peel mine off. Okay, once you have them all peeled off, just lay it aside and let's, I'm gonna use the truck first. You need a paintbrush too. This came from the Dollar Tree. And go ahead and be kind of fast doing it because this does tend to dry fast. Make sure you get all the way to the edges. just a little bit more for extra now. And 
I'm putting mine right in the center. Make sure you press it out so you get all the bubbles and creases out of it. Now, I'm going to do, let me see, I'm going to do Happy Easter up here on top. do the same thing just remember to get the edges real good creases out. Okay. Now I'm just going to lay around to see what I like. it until you get where you like it. just go around flip it over and do the same thing forget to do all of them. Let me know which um, cling, window clings you um, decided to use. Or you, did you get the same one? I'd, um, I'd like to hear from you to see. Don't forget to, if you like today's DIY, don't forget to click that like button and subscribe to my channel and click the notification bells so you won't miss any future uploads. I'd really love to have you as part of my family here on YouTube and you would also be entered into the giveaway contest I have going on and I'll, I'll link more about it in the description. So you know. And this one's almost finished. We need to do this and one more flower in this DIY. We'll be finished. It doesn't take long at all. Alright. Now let me turn it around so you 
can see the finished project. Let me know what you think. I'd really love to hear from you. Okay, for our next uh, project, you will need two of these little boxes. What what it was was a display for that hangs on the wall or sits, and it had in it a leaf for fall, but you can get them for every season. And it was um, up on a little piece of tumbling towers block, something like that, a little block, made it stick out. Anyway, I just popped it out, sanded it down, and painted this one white. And I'm getting ready to paint this one. I just I already sanded it down. And just put some paint in here. And get a good paint brush. I'm just using this one. It came from Walmart. Stuck my thumb in the paint and just put a real good thick coat on and you won't have to do two coats and this the paint came from Walmart it's the apple barrel uh, white matte acrylic paint and it's quick drying And paint the insides too. And I will be right back with you. Okay, while this is drying, we will um, be painting the bunny and the carrot. <clears throat> Excuse me. And I already have the green, the white, and the orange out. Um, the orange is Harvest Orange from Apple Barrel. All these are from Walmart. And the white is just white. And the green is New Shamrock. And I'm going to paint the bunny first. And I'm just painting the bunny white. Just one real good thick coat. Is all you need. Oops, go on, baby. So that's one of the kittens. Go on, you can't come over here. Go on. And like I said, just one real good thick coat and go all in one. After you get it painted, just go in all one sm uh, smooth direction so it looks real nice. Add a little more to the tail. Let's set that aside and let it dry. Get some of that paint off that. Next, I'm painting the carrot um, orange and green. So, I'm doing the orange first. Just go straight across. I have some dried paint. Let me get that off there. I'm going to have to check my paint. Make sure you um, shake it up real good. I shook mine up. But make sure you check and see how long you've had it. It could be... Um, 
drying up from being old. But I, I normally just get mine every couple of months, but it doesn't mean how long it's been sitting at the warehouse or the in the stock room. Go on, baby. She went and got her baby and had to come back up here. And again, one straight motion. And next I'm painting the uh, leaf green. And just... No, baby, this, you can't play with this. Here, take your baby in and play right there. They like getting up here when I'm painting. Or, well, when I'm doing any of my crafts, really. Here, you can't play with that. That's got paint on it. Play with this one. There you go. Okay, now I'm just going to set these aside and let them dry for a few minutes. Okay, now that these have dried, we can glue the back of the uh, little tumbling towers, these old uh, wooden blocks. You get them in the toy department. Well, that's where they were where I got mine at the Dollar Tree just I'm going to put this going straight up and down just sit it off on the side and let it dry Do the same thing to this one. Now, look at that glue. No, no, you can't come over here. Go on. Good boy. That was my kitty Milo. The big black and white one. Okay, now, if you make sure the top is on the um, going that way. Put your little. I'm putting the bunny in first. Okay, let's set it aside. Now, same thing. Make sure the top is. Facing away from you. And I think I'm going to do this one going catty corner. Like this. All right, next. Get. I'm just going to use this cardboard box here. Get some, um, I think it is burnt umber, or you can use the, the wax if you have that. And shake this up real good. Just get you some. You don't need a lot. Use a small paintbrush. Dab it. And then on the bunny, just go right around 
the edge let me show you here just go right around the edge something on mine which is dabbing it there just dabbing the edges all the way around here and some spots that wasn't enough paint on the brush and just continue going all the way around Do some more. Okay. Now you can also take just a little, wipe it off, dab it on your cardboard or your um whatever you're using, and then I'm gonna go this way. And just barely brush it giving it the distressed look just look at it and see and you can just dab it on what's already there Okay, that's what the bunny looks like. Now, on the carrot, what we're going to do is just get the burnt umber, that's the color of paint. I'm using this, I forgot to show you that. And when I get finished with the carrot, I will show you what I'm putting in the giveaway contest box. I already put one in on um, Wednesday, but I'm doing a bonus week by adding an, an extra one today. Now I'm just doing just like this. And do that. Now get some more on your paintbrush if needed and dab it. And just do just a little bit in the green. That's what that looks like. Okay, let me move this out of the way so I show you. Alright, for today, I am putting in 
this brown bunny. Now Wednesday I put in the little white bunny. So this is the white bunny, uh, the brown bunny to go with the the white bunny. And it's uh, the Easter one. So that's what's going in for the bonus for this week. Okay, now I do believe this is it for today's DIYs. If you like today's video, go ahead and give it a big thumbs up. It will really help my channel grow. Subscribe to my channel, not only so you will not miss any of my future uploads but, and be part of my family here on YouTube, but by watching my videos and subscribing to my channel, that automatically enters you into the giveaway contest. And uh, leave a comment, let me know that you entered the contest. That way I'll have your name to jot down on a piece of paper and uh, do the drawing in. And once I reach 500 subscribers during a, a DIY video, I will do a, do a drawing and announce the winner. Alright, I want to thank you all for stopping by and checking out my channel. See you next time.